Hello folks and welcome to today's vlog. We are here in Nottingham on another very, very hot bank holiday Monday. And he has his hat on again because he's out and about doing his traditional half term school holidays rewards trip. He's been to school every day since the Easter holidays. I know it's only a short term, but that's still an achievement based on where we were this time last year. His normal rewards trip is coming to Nottingham for a trip around on the trams doing all his favorite things. It's exactly what he's selected to do this time as well. He's got his hat on as part of being allowed to do that. And in fact, he loves the hat now. He wears the hat to school every day anyway, and doesn't even need to be asked anymore. He's making videos for his channel as well. So if you haven't already subscribed to Through Andy's Eyes, now will be a good opportunity to do that because they'll almost certainly be more than one video out over the next few days of stuff that he's recorded today. We're doing things in a slightly different order to usual because we've just dropped Anna's mum back at her house after she looked after Andy over the weekend while we were down in London. So we've already been up there, dropped them off. So it is just trams and exploring and having to do things slightly differently. Okay. Hey. He seems to be doing okay. Where are we going first, Andy? To the Highbury Vale. We're going to Highbury Vale. And then Butler's Hill. And then Butler's Hill. And then Okay, we're perhaps not doing everything massively differently, but we're going to get into town as well. It's really, 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 really hot on the tram. We're on this tram. Yeah, this is good. I can... <laughs> That bit's fine. <laughs> Well, that's another new milestone for the channel because in the past when stuff like that's happened those kids basically saw the camera and said he's a youtuber and then asked me for details and stuff and i told them my channel as you do and uh, usually when that happens whenever that's happened in the past you then see the look of disappointment on their face when they say oh right you've only got 20,000 subscribers of you uh, that was the first time they've actually anyone's actually been impressed he's got nearly 50,000 subscribers <gasps> Hey, milestone! Andy, Andy's ready to get on another train. This isn't the one we want though. There we go! Ah, so. Stupidly as well, we've forgotten to bring water out with us. It's 28 degrees today according to my phone. It might be all right over there, but it's, there's, there's no water over there. We've remembered sun cream, walking around London all day on Saturday, I didn't have any sun cream, but today we have no water. And because we're gonna have to go through the routine of all the stops he likes to go to, there's no shops near those stops. I'm gonna dehydrate, I already feel really thirsty. I'm gonna be dehydrated before we, before we make it anywhere. This is, oh, I can feel the quality of the vlog draining out of me as I'm too thirsty to talk properly. He's focusing on this. Well, that was an interesting little snippet. His focus did not break from that tram at any point, despite there being a train coming past. Obviously, trams are better than trains.
Hat off already. It's your fault he does that because the first video we came here you asked him that and now he does it every time he sees that sign. I don't know if I used it before. <laughs> One slight problem it seems that because of the bank holiday the trains and trams are on a reduced service. We've been waiting here ages and we've not even had one go past yet. And if you've watched one of these Nottingham Rewards okay. trips before, you know one isn't going to be enough either. And it is so hot. We've now, I've just checked my phone, trying to find a shop where we could buy a bottle of water from. And all I managed to find out is we parked the car one hour and five minutes ago. And we've been out in the baking sun since then. And we're currently at the furthest point from where the car is. We're not going to see a shop until we get all the way down into Nottingham city centre, which if we left now, is 20 minutes away. Shop shut in four minutes. Shop's shut in four minutes. There's bound to be somewhere open, surely. It's shut at four. There'll be a shop open where I can buy a bottle of water. <sighs> Andy Lloyd. That's often the tram's running today, is it? Yeah. Yikes. Ah. Let's go in here. Train! Tell you what, that first train scared the hell out of me. <laughs> I'm that I mean, you, you saw how close to the camera it was. I wasn't zoomed in. I thought like it hit me in the ear. Where are we going now? Tram. And where are we going on the tram? To the Old Market Square. We're going to Old Market Square. There is one potential problem that we hadn't thought of until we were just stood there waiting for those trains to go by. Bye. But I'm wondering why there's such a long gap between each one and realising it's because oh, it's a bank holiday. Wait the rest of town and everything might be shut or shutting. This might well have to be very different from how it normally is. Um, he now can't cross here because there's a tram there. But at least it means we're not going to hang around and uh, watch the tram because he'll have this one. Andy, stay this side of the track. So now we can just get on the next one. Here he comes, the train ride! Bye -bye. Did the train toot at you? <laughs> he did. Saw you waving and tooted, didn't he? And you're far too focused on filming him to answer my questions, aren't you? Yep. Andy. Okay. There we go. It's now about two hours since we parked the car. Still not had a drink. Oh my word, I'm so very dehydrated now. It's uh, still busy for gone four o'clock on a bank holiday in the middle of Nottingham, which is good. 
because that means there'll be plenty of places where I can buy a beverage once we've taken him to the toilet. Ah, that's better. One bottle of water down, a spare to stop this from happening again. Now I feel like a human once more. The last two times we've filmed Andy in the lift in his shopping centre, I had a security guard come over and ask me what I was doing. Let's see if we can make that a hat trick today. Andy, you listen to the bells. I was gonna ask him where we're going now, but he's busy with the bells. Let's count the number, here we go. I don't think there is a number. One. There oh, we go. Two. Three. It is. And where are we going now? McDonald's. McDonald's, I see. Not Burger King. Yeah. Which one? McDonald's or Burger King? McDonald's. Okay. And where's Mummy? Because we seem to have lost her. So we know no ketchup, yeah. no mustard, no onion, no pickles, just beef. No beef party. Uh, well done, you can keep the beef Just in there. beef and a bun, okay? Yeah. Okay. <laughs> the reason we make him keep the meat in the burger is so that he then has to handle the meat by taking it out of the bun himself. The trying to desensitise him to it. Anna's yeah, still in there, I don't know what she's doing. She's either found someone that she used to know from when she lived over this way, or she's asking about the umbrella that she lost ages ago. If it's the umbrella, she's mad. Do you believe me now that I already Why asked? Why obviously took it home? Because I, ha I had it here, but I didn't have it when we were at bed, so... <laughs> on yesterday's vlog, I was complaining how weird it is in London that the shops on Sunday are open 12 till 6, rather than the 10 till 4 or 11 till 5 they are in the rest of the country. Today, in Nottingham, where they're operating 10 till 4 Sunday opening hours on a bank holiday, I think it's weird that they don't do it the London way because it's still lovely and hot and sunny and everywhere is shut. We can't go anywhere or do anything. So I think we're just going to cut our trip short and go home, which very silly. The fountains behind us do look really, really tempting, but neither me or Andy have changes of clothes. So Anna won't let us go in. <laughs> Well, that's us done and heading back home. Did you have a good time, Andy? Yeah, we've watched Through Andy's Eyes on YouTube. You should watch Through Andy's Eyes on YouTube, plug in his own channel now. And if you have enjoyed that, please make sure you leave a nice big thumbs up on there for us. Not so fast with your hasty vlog ending past Kev. Grantham's a place that exists and apparently operates on more sensible human retail hours. We need to toilet roll we've been away a weekend and it's all gone as does still open because it's a reasonable place that doesn't close down at four o'clock on bank holidays you are you i might moan around grand from all the time but it now goes above nottingham i mean kev's lists of places that are good because the shop's still open when i need toilet roll so we're going to nip in there and of course because we're right next to that pointy building over there 
um, Andy wants to go over and film that too. I'm very sad. I was hoping to find kimchi in here because I had it at Wagamama yesterday and it was, I've never had it before. It's really nice, but they don't seem to have it here, which is a shame. So we're just loading up on a few things that Andy needs. He doesn't need french fries, but he always buys them in here for some reason. Marmite crisps, I didn't know they were still a thing. Now I know you all saw me drink Coke Zero at the weekend and I promised myself that as soon as we were back home again I wouldn't drink any more of them. But every time they gave me a Coke Zero at Comic Con they also gave us one of these. Free 500 milliliter Coke Zero thing. So obviously being in a supermarket, we've just used two of them. So we have two little bottles of it. I can't get away from the stuff. Charge. Is it out of battery? Yeah. You just said it needed a charge. Uh, I'll charge it. I've got my nose for my new oh. <laughs> How far down is it? Looks like there'll be no through Andy's eyes from Grantham. Give me your camera. <laughs> Give him your phone. No. There we go. Can you just tell us what you're doing? No. What game is it? Nothing. Come on, tell us. Nope. I'm just going to tell him anyway, so you may as well tell him and get it right. <laughs> okay. Come on. Nope. Uh, because Anna doesn't like to be a professional vlogger, she won't actually give us the information we need. She's playing the new Jurassic Park Pokemon Go ripoff, the name of which I can't remember. What's it called? Jurassic Park World. Jurassic Park World. And it's basically Pokemon Go, but with dinosaurs. Yes. So where's the dinosaur? I've heard it. There's one there, there's one there, there's one there, one over there, and then we've got these stop things, but I'm not sure where that one is. Let's see. Oh, it's the church. Um. I've only got one thing to say to this new app that she's playing. A good start. Seven, yeah. So what time is it? Seven o'clock. I think that probably means we should go home. Good boy. It's finished. So you throw in Jurassic balls at it? No. Can you finish? I have a drone that I have to hit it with. Is this game new? I don't know. Yeah, we've got a something a All for a something a <laughs> Right, this time, barring an exciting squirrel at the side of the road or something like that on the way home, I think we probably are done. So we'll say goodbye now, properly. If you have enjoyed today's vlog, please make sure you leave a nice big thumbs up on there for us. Subscribe to the channel for more daily vlogs. And thank you very much for watching. What'd you say? Good boy, good Yeah. Thank you.